Roberts, Patrick Williams, Day Wilson, Old Acre for Miami, Harris, Whitehorn, Ott, Elmore, and Robinson for Clemson. And away we go, underway at the Watsco Center. 28th meeting, Miami leads the all-time series 19-8. First possession of the game. Patrick lost it, gets it back. Shot clock winding down on Williams. Miami doesn't have anything. Roberts on a turnaround as the shot clock was about to evaporate. You know, Roberts really likes to find her sweet spot in the middle of that paint. That is her area. She moves well without the basketball, and she's almost automatic at that area. Matt Yacht getting the start tonight. Now left of the key. Easy jumper for Amari Robinson, one of the great scorers in the league, averaging 17 points a game. We yeah. know what she can do. She scores, she's a very efficient scorer. She scores at a high percentage, and Old Decker's going to have her hands full because she can pull her out. Old Decker's going to have to move her feet and show that she could defend from post to three. Miami on the inbounds, I believe. Turn the ball over, stepping over the baseline. So first turner over the game, Clemson with the ball, tie it two. Day Harris from the left elbow, fires and that's short. Harris a career high for assist now, Day Wilson, that one's off the mark. Old Acre the rebound and powers it back up and through. I like the fact that she didn't throw the ball back out to the guards as she got that rebound and was able to control it and go back up. Harris running the show for Clemson. Offensive foul on the Tigers on Ruby Whitehorn. Yeah, I, I blame that on Harris. You have to let your post or the screener have a chance to get their feet set before you go off of that screen. Miami 14 and seven overall. Clemson 11 and 12. Miami four and six in the conference. Clemson four and seven. Another turnover for Miami. Harris middle of the floor for Clemson. Has options. Nice pass down low and up and in. Robinson has four. Robinson from Douglasville, Georgia. Last year, an all-ACC player. Ties the game at four. Yeah, Robinson had 37 points against Syracuse, which is her new career high. So she's revved up. She's ready to go. Shooting 55% from the floor. Williams will inbounds for Miami. Old Acre, a lob inside, but that's a tough pass to connect on. It's, it's, it's tough when you when you have Old Acre making that decision with five seconds to go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, time management is going to be key for this Miami team. And knowing your personnel. Harris on the move. And Harris with a turnover, palming the basketball. The magic number for Clemson seems to be 70. They hold their opponents under 70, they win. Their opponents score over 70, not so good. We'll have to look at that trend as we yeah. go down and kind of make sure and look at it say, and see if that's going to be true tonight. Got to be an offensive foul. That one on Patrick. Patrick plowing over Harris. This game is off to a choppy start. Refs are calling it tight. I can anticipate with both teams playing so aggressively with each other, someone's going to end up in the bonus very early in this quarter. Tied at four, here's Harris.
Harris 110 assists this year. Ott out of the corner is good. Maddie Ott getting the start tonight. Mackenzie Kramer is not here. She's under the weather, and Ott gets the start and buries a three out of the corner. 7-4 Clemson. Next Williams on the move. Got a one-point game here early in the first quarter. 7-6. Harris, the way thicket of Miami defenders. Elmore, bullet pass. Robinson is short. Old Acre and away at the rebound for Miami is Roberts. Patrick, high arching three. Side iron miss. And down with a good rebound for Clemson is Whitehorn. And Whitehorn gliding down the floor. Triple try, good from the right side, Harris. This is a high-paced team. Both teams are getting up and down the court really quickly, taking some quality shots. Roberts, or rather Day Harris, right through the fingers of Old Acre. Turnover number five for Miami very early in this first quarter. I think they just need to take a beat. Calm down a little bit. You know, Inyang checks in for Clemson. And in for Miami is Lattimore. Harris hit her 12th three of the season last time down the floor. Whitehorn back out to Harris with nine to shoot. Picked up by Williams at the free throw line. Wants a jumper and got it. I don't think the nets moved. I don't think so. that net didn't move at all. <laughs> you know, Harris is just putting her head down, getting to the spot she wants to go to, and stopping on a dime. And as a defender, it's very difficult to guard that. And so I'm sure Miami's going to adjust to that. I've seen, I've seen uh, Miami go to zone a couple of times, and we'll see if that can slow them down just a bit. Day Wilson off the heel. Clemson rebound, Elmore. Harris 110 assists this year to 70 turnovers. A career high in assists. Working on Williams, good matchup there. Whitehorn with nine to shoot for three. Side iron miss. And we got a foul underneath. And a timeout. That brings us to a timeout. Clemson's off to a good start. Clemson with a six-point lead here at the Watsko Center. Greatness is a feeling, a moment, a choice, unrelenting, a team effort. Greatness is accomplishing on this field and this one. Greatness is more than winning the game. It's changing it. Greatness is what we do. Accomplish greatness. So yeah, USAA, they always have my back. USAA? You were in the military? Oh no, I wasn't, but my grandpa was. He joined USAA, passed membership to my mom, then to me. There's other ways to get in? Yeah. My neighbor, Ron, he's in because his wife served. Even little Lou. Hey, Mr. Oh. Poacher. Yeah? Tired already? Here, have a Red Bull. And then? Then run faster. Oh. Red Bull gives you wings. Better than a cheesy bite? Cheese in every bite. 
That's why we invented stuffed crust pizza, topped and stuffed with almost a pound of cheese. There's only one original, the original stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. Back at the Watsco Center early on, Clemson with a 12-6 lead over the University of Miami. The Tigers have won three in a row, so they're feeling pretty good. And during that win streak, at three players in double figures. And those three players have, have come out, well, two of them have come out very strong, and, and they're building on that momentum. And during that win streak, at three players in double figures. And those three players have, have come out, well, two of them have come out very strong, and, and they're building on that momentum, and they are firing on all cylinders, getting up and down the court really quickly and, and, and hitting some very tough shots. Kramer, Mackenzie Kramer not here tonight. Dwyer in the game for Miami handling the ball and moves it to Patrick. In the corner, three ball for Williams, side iron miss and Ott. Starting for Kramer, grabs the rebound. She's already made a three. Whitehorn, middle of the floor. Whitehorn eyeball to eyeball with Patrick. And gets it right back. A floater, no good. And rebound squirts out to Miami. On the move, Dwyer. The trailer is Williams. Then Hilton. Off the foot of Clemson. Picked up by Dwyer. Dwyer last game out against FSU at two points. Williams cross court for Dwyer. Zone defense for Clemson has Miami a bit perplexed here. Williams better hurry now. Shot clock is going to go off and Miami never got a shot off. Miami's going to have to adjust to this zone. Have to penetrate that zone, get in the gut of it, create. Six point lead. For the Tigers. Harris on the move. Tries to thread a tough pass through two defenders and a foul on Miami. In Yang just battled her way right through the two defenders. Yeah, she was surrounded. Just the will to want the ball. She willed it up there. And Yang, 12 out of 15 on the free throw line this season. Good free throw shooter. Tigers, as a team, shoot 72%. Clemson is number eight in the league in scoring at 71 points per game. Well, you know, they have a high-powered offense. Yep. We've seen what they can do. We've seen what they've done against the other teams. And so they're not shy. Good on a pair of free throws, and the Tigers stretch the lead to eight. Roberts spinning in the lane. Offensive rebound by Lattimore, no good. And the rebound by Inyang. Harris is fouled by Dwyer. Tigers are on a 7-0 run over the last three minutes and a 12-2 run over the last five minutes. Hurricanes are shooting blanks. They've missed their last five shots. You know, we see team substitution. Katie trying to find some type of rhythm within a group of five that's going to give her some type of continuity. Harris on the move. Tries the wraparound pass, it's deflected out of play. Here comes Elmore, back into the game. Elmore, a junior, Michaela Elmore, from Ohio in her 86th game for the Tigers. Whitehorn, a wing three, no good. Offensive rebound, Robinson up and in. Amari Robinson, that's six for Robinson. 
Robinson is a problem right now. Very active on the boards, very active in the paint. And the difference right now in this game is assist to turnover ratio. Tigers on a 14 to two run, so maybe that momentum of the three game winning streak and three second violation on Miami. Perhaps that uh, momentum from the three game winning streak with a first quarter haymaker a 16 to 2 run has propelled them to an 18 to 6 lead and right here Miami got beat on a uh, home run play yeah you can't let anyone get behind you that's a old school trick just to see if you're paying attention defensively Miami with a bit of catching up to do now Clemson 18 6 leaders Lattimore trying to get inside ducks around her defender and it won't go Robinson Clears the rebound, and Harris is on the move. Dwyer reaches in. Robinson open for three. Hits the front of the rim and comes off hard. Stedman and a runner in the lane is no good by Day Wilson. Harris goes the other way for Clemson. This is a physical game. Miami has started the game with a cold front. They've missed seven straight shots. Well, you know, I would think that Clemson kind of has a, a sort of a cheat code. You have Derek Gibbs over there. <laughs> <laughs> that has coached for a very long time with Katie Meyer. And so he knows exactly what she likes to do. Dave Wilson, the stealing goes coast to coast. And let's see if that gets Miami ignited. Fearless, fearless. Looked at Robinson and said, okay, I can go up against you. The steal and Day Wilson went as fast as her feet would take her. Riding a streak of seven straight double figure games. Robinson on the baseline. Out to Harris with eight to shoot. Harris, a scoop to the hoop, not there. Offensive rebound by Robinson. Back out to Valentine. Over to Harris on the three-point line. Inside to Robinson, blocked by Lattimore. All of a sudden, I think Miami's starting to percolate a little bit here. No, oh, that's how you get back into it. One, get, one, one play at a time, but one play can really make a break momentum. Ten-point lead for Clemson. Hilton back in for Miami. The Arizona transfer played very well against Florida State at 15 points in 19 minutes. Hot inbounds for Robinson. Then Harris. Nine to shoot for Harris. Watched by Day Wilson. Off a high ball screen. Harris goes left. From the elbow. Off the heel, no good. Rebound to Clemson with 15. Poked away by Miami. Still loose on the floor. Hilton has it. Hurricanes might have some numbers here. Now Dwyer. Hilton from the right wing, no good. Dwyer has it. One to shoot. Good if it goes. Got it. Bent it in. But we already know what Miami has proven to do in the tournament. Last year made it to the Elite Eight. Robinson, a runner, is good. And that's how we start the second quarter. 10-point lead for Clemson. 
Tigers 20 to 10 leaders. Miami with some catching up to do. Hilton on the drive. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Hit her knee coming down. A reverse layup and banged her knee. What a great effort, acrobatic shot I hope by Lamaya Hilton. Bang. I hope it's yep. just a bang. You really hate to see any athlete grab their knee. Very scary. Hilton coming off a 15-point game against Florida State. Made five of her six shots. That was quite a shot right there. She literally sacrificed her body for the basket. You know, as a player, I, I was never good at that. I wanted to stay on my feet. <laughs> I wanted to stay on my feet as much as possible, Joe. I wasn't trying to be all over the floor. Because it hurts. <laughs> well, you must have done something sacrificial. You're an All-American. It wasn't, it wasn't it wasn't flying on the floor, I tell you that. <laughs> you know, I, I, I tore my ACL when I, I was a sophomore and or junior in, in high school, and so I was very careful about the way I chose to be creative at getting to the basket. Well, you scored in a variety of ways. Absolutely. That's why your uh, jersey is, your number is up here in the rafters. Oh, and it's such an honor. It's such an honor. Dr. Baraga comes out onto the floor from U Health. You know, sometimes it's a, it's you're more scared right. than hurt, but sometimes you're hurt as well. So, it's praying for the best. For Hilton, she has been such a contributor to this Miami team, a key player off the bench. Clemson with a 20 to 12 lead. Started the quarter, the first quarter, with an 18 to 2 run. Hurricanes trying to claw their way back into this one, and now looks like they're going to get Hilton up here. Oh, and she's grimacing in pain. Yep. Oh, she's going to make me tear up. She cannot put any weight on the right knee, so. Well, you hate to see it. Well, here's the replay. Went in one way, came out the other. Oh, it was hurt before. She yeah. didn't bang her knees. Something happened when she uh, went into her leaping motion. Right Ooh. there. It went in. Okay. Yep. I, don't, I don't care to see that again. All right, let's see if this provides a spark for the Hurricanes. Clemson, eight-point leaders. Harris has the ball. Robinson already been a force in this game. Robinson's... Cameron mentioned early 37 against Syracuse, already eight tonight. Shot clock at five. Harris a long three. Good. Man alive. Twice tonight. She's hit shots where the net hasn't moved. She is filling it. That's eight. what happens when you, you know, you're 3-0 and oh in, in these last three games and you have that confidence and Miami's gonna have to have they have a challenge of stopping Harris and Robinson. That's a nice move by Lattimore. Spinning to the rim. And Miami's gone big. Two bigs in, Lattimore and Old Acre. All right, out of the corner for a triple try good. Clemson hitting the three balls tonight. Good ball movement. That's their fourth three of the night. Odd getting the start is buried a couple of threes. 12 point lead for the Tigers, eight minutes to go in the half. Dwyer from the right wing, no good. McLemore the rebound for Clemson. Whitehorn on the move. McLemore trailing in her wake for three straight on good. That's three straight three pointers. Momentum not in 
not in favor of the Hurricanes. Ruby Whitehorn finds a gem from the top of the circle, her 19th three of the season. Day Wilson misses from three-point range. Clemson right now with their largest lead of the game. Williams gets to the left elbow, comes up short. Whitehorn has the rebound, connects with Harris. It's almost like there's a lid over the basket for the Hurricanes. Clemson shooting 55% from three-point range. For the season, they shoot 33%. They are number six in the league in three-point field goal percentage. Day Wilson, Dwyer for three straight on. That is off the heel. Meanwhile, Miami is number three in the league in three-point field goal percentage. Miami's hitless from three-point range. They're 0 for 8. So I think there's an opportunity for Miami to look at that, say, okay, let's settle down. Let's get some quality shots. Let's try to get to the basket because the three ball's not falling right now. Um, there'll be other areas in the game where those opportunities will present themselves. They have to claw their way back in one, one basket at a time. Roberts moving up the floor with pace. Now Dwyer with a reverse layup that's good to go. And that's what Miami needs, more transition baskets. We haven't really seen Miami out in transition, and we know that is Miami's game. Dwyer just one point against Duke, four against Wake Forest, two against Florida State. Last three games struggling a little bit offensively. Harris wants another three. That one's off the side of the iron, no good. Easy rebound for Williams, romping up the left sideline for Miami. On to Roberts. A bounce for Dwyer. Splitting the defense. Dwyer tries to get in, kicks out. Good ball movement. Williams for three. On the rim and off the rim. That's a three that's in rhythm, though. That's a good shot. She just came up a little short. Another three for Clemson. And that's a three that's in rhythm. Tigers have connected on six three-pointers tonight. Old Acre, Butterfingers the ball around, take away by Harris. Harris badgered by Williams in the backcourt. Valentine is parked in the corner. She's got it again for three. That time no good. Williams off to the races for Miami. To the free throw line. Old Acre back to Williams. 32 16 Clemson. They've made six three pointers, and Miami is 0 for 8. Shot clock at five. Dwyer on the move. Better hurry. Off the Old Acre. Got it away. No, didn't hit anything, so it's a shot clock by Alicia. And that brings us to a timeout. 4.27 to go in the half. Clemson, the three ball is raining. Valentine with a big three and a 32-16 lead. Someone in this room stole my autographed basketball, signed by the 1948 All-Star Team. So I've called in a specialist, an ease specialist. Okay, let's start with what we do know. Geico makes it easy to bundle coverage for your car and home. Yeah, even precious sports memorabilia. What a relief. Let's get back to charades. But I was also going to crack the case. Well... I'm pretty sure it's true. Me? It's easy to bundle your home and car. It's easy to Geico.
Aha, uh -huh. but which wire should I cut? The red or the blue or the... Well, it's usually always the blue one. But there is also a green one and a yellow one. Oh, there, Red Bull. Behind you, drink it now. Of course. Hmm, too late. No Red Bull, no wings. This is the GMC Sierra. Available with the V8 engine, the Super Cruise hands-free driving experience, and the Multipro tailgate. GMC Sierra, it's the truck. You were made to act spontaneously. We were made to help plan accordingly. Captain Marvel. You ever come in here with good news? Hold that thought. The Marvels is now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Grab your family. What's wrong with that cat? And experience the fun at home. Hi, Captain Marvel is in our house. One, two, three, go. Hold on oh. for an action-packed ride. Mara, you are not going on any space adventures. The Marvels, ready PG-13, now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. For Chad O'Meara and Nigel Pack on hand here tonight. Watching the women play. Men's team back in action on Saturday against third ranked North Carolina. And that's on ESPN. Right now, the women have to uh, climb out of a hole here. They dug a little bit of a trench. 32 16, Clemson leading Miami. Hurricane's going to try to pressure a little bit more here, maybe try to force, uh, change the tempo of this thing. Robinson, eight points on four of eight shooting. Ott has done a nice job in a starting role. Freeman in the game and a turnover. Stedman has it. Day Wilson, Williams, Day Wilson one more time. Has daylight for three, lets it fly, no good. Hurricanes are just ice cold from three-point range. It's a rare open miss from Day Wilson. Miami's gonna have to find some type of production. I'll have to settle down and figure out what's working for him. Day Wilson leads Miami in threes. Again on the inbounds, Miami's beat with the home run ball. Robinson lays it up and in. That's 10 for Robinson. It's been a brilliant performance by Clemson. Absolutely. You know, you look at Clemson's record and, and, and you think that, you know, with a, an 11 and 12 record that probably won't be as competitive, but as we spoke about it, Clemson has played some notable key, key people um, in, in the non-conference schedule. And so they're prepared for this moment. Foul underneath the basket. Good work by Freeman for Clemson. We haven't Foul. seen a lot of free throws this game, Joe. Nope. Miami has not been to the line, and Clemson is two for two. Freeman on the line. Freeman 15 for 24 this season. The Cherry Stripers, the first one is good. That number about holding opponents under 70 points right now looks pretty good for Clemson. They keep at this pace. It will hold true. They have right, a right at that number. 36 to 18 lead. Stedman on the wing. Stedman launches a triple try. No good and rebounded by Clemson. Robinson with the rebound. Her fourth of the game with 10 points. Robinson from Valentine, then on to Ott. Valentine will take that three. Off the heel and ricochets off the heel hard. Day Wilson down the floor with pace for Stedman on the baseline. 
Inside for Spearman. Oh, that's a nice move, but missed from point blank range. Last touch by Clemson. Spearman played 13 minutes against FSU and scored two points. Here comes Elmore back into the game. Eighteen point lead for Clemson. Spearman on the baseline. Shot fake. Inside on Elmore. That missed everything. Harris. Pass day Wilson. Ott, another triple try. Rebound comes out long for Day Wilson. Kicks it out for Williams. He scoots to the hoop and scores. It's the easiest basket I've seen Miami have this quarter. Williams made up her mind and took the baseline. The lead is 16, under two minutes to go. Here in the first half. Clemson has won three in a row. Defense! 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 And that's what Miami's gonna have to do, attack the basket, get to the free throw line. Oh, look at this shot by Robinson. And stop <laughs> Robinson. That's 12 for Robinson. At 35 against Georgia State, 37 against Syracuse. Harris the rebound for, for the Tigers. 18-point lead for Clemson, tail end of the first half. Miami leads this series 19 to 8. Clemson operating in all cylinders. Valentine, high, arching three around and out. Roberts for Day Wilson. Nice pass and Spearman to finish. Four for Spearman. Last three games, three for 11 from the floor. About a 10 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Harris on the move and a foul on Roberts. Clemson 38-22 leaders over Miami. Here comes Whitehorn back in. Miami needing something to go good to go into this halftime. So they can regroup. Harris with the ball. Eight points, five rebounds, four assists. Some savory stats for Harris. Bumped by Williams. Miami's having trouble with her speed. She is lightning quick. If I'm Katie Meyer, I have to get the ball out of Harris's hands and allow someone else to create. Because everything is going through Harris and they're having a very difficult time with her coming off of screen. She's just, she is just really, really quick. Her first step. Eight seconds to go. Harris has the ball. Down to five. Harris goes right against Dwyer. Drives in. And a foul with one second left. <laughs> foul on Stedman with a second to play. So Harris, who has been brilliant tonight with eight points, Five rebounds, four assists on the free throw line where she shoots 66%. Double figures 13 times this season. First one is good. Harris had 25 points back on January the 21st against Virginia Tech. 23 in her last outing against Virginia. Misses the second free throw, and that will bring us to the end of the first half. And what a half for the Clemson Tigers. They shoot 43%. They make six threes. 
Miami went hitless from three-point range, 0 for 11. And if you're a man of Butler and Clemson, uh, they've been on a roll. They've won three in a row, and they've played a very, uh, very fine first half. I would just tell my team to play loose. You know, continue to do what we've done to get this 17-point lead and keep your foot on the gas. Miami gets the first possession of the third quarter. Patrick on the move and tries to rifle a pass through too many defenders, jump ball, and the possession arrow is in favor of Clemson. Miami nine first half turnovers. Odd has it, top of the circle. Guarded closely by Day Wilson. And Witten, Horn, and from the elbow, Elmore, no good. Oldacre down with a good rebound for Miami. Patrick for three, good. Miami's first three of the, of the game. That's a positive spotlight on this Miami Hurricane team. Patrick playing in her 111th game, the Columbia transfer. Miami takes the ball away. Here's Williams to the elbow and below. Roberts. Patrick again. Back to back threes. And just like that, we have liftoff. Adding Third. that defensive pressure, as you see, they are trapping Harris over right over the half court, trying to get that ball out of her hands. And Patrick's just here to play. Ah, oh, with a nice shot fake. Gets inside and then a miss by Robinson. Old Acre the rebound. Day Harris the other way. In front to Robinson. Or rather to Day Wilson on the drive and score. No, it's Patrick. Let me take that back. <laughs> Here's another look at this one. That's eight straight points. Patrick with her third yep. foul. Very key. Just hit two threes. That is very crucial for Miami. So now Patrick will have to sit down. Here's the long baseball pass again. Harris has it against Williams. Hand to hand combat. No basket. No basket. Gonna call the foul on Harris. You know, I, for the life of me, Joe, I cannot understand how they continue <laughs> to get this baseball play even across half court. Okay, give me the first time. And the second time, okay, now you're really not gonna give me right. again. But the third time. Whew. Have to watch some film on that. 39-28, Clemson the lead. Miami has scored six straight. Williams for three. Rebound by Miami. Yep, and then that's eight straight for Miami. Spearman collecting the rebound and the putback. Eight straight for Miami. Dave Wilson called for the foul. We have seen Miami go on a run right now. 8-0 run. 8 nothing run to start the third quarter. Miami chopping into the 17-point deficit. They were in a spot of trouble at halftime. Patrick got him started. Like a boxing match, Joe. The lead is nine for Clemson. Whitehorn on the move into the corner for Ott. Robinson dips around Old Acre, no good. Gets her own rebound over the shoulder and scores. That was a tough one. Did she have eyes in the back of her head? Just very good awareness of where the basket is. That's those good old Mike and drills. 14 for Robinson. Spearman on the perimeter for Roberts. Roberts tees up a triple try. Sider miss. Old Acre the rebound and got it to go. Listen, Old Acre is down there working. She didn't get the ball, but she's fighting for position. She's tiring out the defense, and she is on the boards. Hurricanes trying to battle back from an 18-point deficit. 
Clemson's largest lead was 18. Here's the replay on Old Acre. That's a big body. Clemson led 38 to 20. Whitehorn below the free throw line, around and out, no good. Williams a rebound and on the move. Quickly down the floor with pace. Day Wilson to the elbow and lets it fly. No good, Old Acre tracks the rebound. Right back up, no good. Spearman with the rebound in traffic. Jump ball, possession arrow favors Miami. Old Acre has been inspiring here. And you know, Miami having those two bigs there. Spearman very active on the glass. Old Acre a big body on the glass. They're kind of slowing things down for Clemson. And Yang comes in, trying to neutralize Old Acre. Williams on the wing for Day Wilson. Day Wilson's three-pointer is good. And Miami's come alive from the three-point line. Three three-pointers in the first four minutes of this second half. And look at Old Acre as she tries to get that still, but just not enough. Whitehorn there. Miami's made three threes to start the half. 43-35. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. Williams behind a screen from Old Acre. Moves to Day Wilson, splits the defense, and draws the foul. There's Miami at the free throw line. Hurricanes have not attempted a free throw tonight. How about Shea Day Wilson? Hurricanes are last in the league in free throw shoot. 15th at 63%. Day Wilson, however, shoots 75%. Her 86th career game. Uh, maybe I jinxed it. I think so, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking the blame. <laughs> Day Wilson, 12 against Florida State, 19 against Virginia Tech. Seven straight games in double figures. Makes one out of two. Odeka with a very well-deserved reception going to the bench. The lead is down to seven. And a steal. Lattimore, no good. Ball squirts out. Miami hustling for that one. Williams has it. The day Wilson. Wilson on the drive and draws another foul. Oh, no. Going to go the other way. Got to be her third. Yeah, a little over aggressive. <laughs> Here comes Dwyer back into the game for Miami. Clemson a seven-point lead. They led by 18. 17 at the intermission. Miami's chopped into that lead and still working. I mean, give credit to Miami. They could have laid down. They yeah. could have said, okay, let's look forward to the next few tough games that we have. But, no, that's not Miami basketball. That's not Katie Myers' way. You know, you have to come out here. You got to show heart. You have to play for all the fans that came on a Thursday night to see you play. Plenty of time remaining in this game. 5.40 to play, third quarter. Miami trailed by 17 at halftime. They had not made any threes in the first half. They made three here in the second half. There's Harris in the backcourt. Harris weaves her way through the Miami defense. Ott for three, and good. How about this Ott? Coming off the bench tonight as a starter. She's made three threes, nine points in the game, starting for Kramer. Kramer missing tonight's game with an illness. A thousand career point scorer. And Ott steps in with three threes. You know, it's next man up. Always stay ready for your moment, for your opportunity. And Ott has done just that. The lead is back to 10. 46 to 36. Dwyer, good! High arching three for Dwyer. 
Another three for Miami. Miami not going away. Dwyer the three ball, 14th of the season. Last three games, Dwyer, her offense a bit cold, three for 14. Dwyer seven points tonight. Odd on the right wing. Three seconds to shoot for Robinson for three and good. She knew she wanted to shoot that ball the second that it left her fingers and got into her hands. Clemson's three-point shooting has been a big difference in this game. Roberts, left wing for Dwyer. Inside for Lattimore, turnover, and Miami gets it right back. Lattimore inside the right block and traveled. Ten-point lead for Clemson. They've made eight three-pointers tonight. And that's a time, there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. Here's the three by Dwyer with room. Dwyer buries the three. And Clemson answers right back. Robinson with a three for the Tigers and a 10 point lead. You'll love this, so much space. Wait till you see the kitchen. Oh, another door. Oh, another door. You can really get lost in this place. Pretty sure we are. Oh boy. Where are we? Oh. Where's the kitchen? Is this a bedroom? At least we could bundle our home and car insurance with Geico. We could save a lot. Square footage is good for resale. Finding a perfect home is hard. Thankfully, Geico makes it easy to bundle and save. Do you know how to get out? Hurry up, agent. Only 20 seconds left. Uh-huh, but which wire should I cut? The red or the blue or the... Well, it's usually always the blue one. But there is also a green one and a yellow one. Oh, there, Red Bull. Behind you, drink it now. Of course. Hmm. Too late. No Red Bull, no wings. No Red Bull, no wings. There are hundreds of different kinds of trucks and SUVs on the road. Meet the wiper blades designed with all of them in mind. Rain-X rugged truck and SUV wiper blades. Engineered with graphene for long-lasting durability. They're high-performing blades for high-performing vehicles. Rain-X, outsmart the elements. Available at your favorite retailer. We were made to help plan accordingly. We got a Subaru for us to wilderness to discover all the places that make us feel something more. Subaru is the National Park Foundation's largest corporate donor, helping expand access for all. Stacking up a big game for Clemson. 17 points, 5 rebounds, 8 of 14 from the floor. Playing her 145th game. She scored 30 points a couple of times this year, has 17 tonight. Before this game, she was 63 points away from moving to third all-time in most points scored in a career in Clemson history. Harris on the drive. Dwyer thought she got a piece of it. The block was clean, but a little bit of the body. Elmore comes back in. 
Harris to the line. Nine points tonight. Five rebounds, six assists. A career high in assists this season for Harris, who misses the first free throw, shooting 66% this season. She's had two 25-point games this year. Makes one out of two. Miami down 11 on their home floor. That was well done. Nice high-low. The mic and drills, I'm telling you, they're so boring of drills, but you don't understand. It gives you awareness and touch around the rim. Back to a nine-point game now. Freeman at the elbow. One and two, no good. Williams has it for Miami with good pace on the pull-up. That's off the heel, off the uh, right side of the rim. Offensive rebound to Miami, jump ball, possession arrow. This time goes to Clemson. Lattimore with those long arms. It's like she just pressed the button and extended her arm a few more inches. Wasn't able to come up with the rebound. Williams is struggling a bit tonight. She's two for seven coming off a game against Florida State where she was two for nine in 38 minutes. Well, she has a tough matchup in trying to contain Harris. Takes a lot of energy. Offen she's contributing other ways. Offensive rebound for Clemson and, and 20 more seconds on the clock. Harris drives in, no good. Freeman the rebound and a foul. Hey, Clemson has a bunch of unsung heroes here tonight. You know, Clemson has some adversity going on with their team, but it's next man up. Everyone's stepping up, and, and, and they're getting it done by committee. Freeman goes to the line, shooting 62% this season. Monty Freeman on the charity stripe, and the first one is good. Tigers are seven for nine on the free throw line, eight for 19 from three-point range. Second one, no good. Spearman with a good rebound for Miami. Dwyer behind the three-point line. Won't go. Freeman the rebound for Clemson. And the Tigers with a 10-point lead and the ball. Whitehorn using his screen, then boomerangs it on to Ott for a three. That's no good. Last touch by the Tigers. It's going to be a foul on Ruby Whitehorn. In the half court setting, Miami's going to have to get some quality shots. When they're out and they're running, transition is good. Dave Wilson will take that jumper. That's her sweet spot. This might be the first time all game where you have both Robinson and Harris out. Dave Wilson with eight points. Elmore at the elbow. Two out with 90 seconds to go in the third quarter. Clemson an eight-point lead. They led by 18. That's a three-second violation. Just like that, we have Robinson and Harris coming back into the game, understanding that they don't want this lead to diminish. Miami's playing really well right now in basketball. I'm interested to see if Miami's going to continue with the disruption in Harris once she gets up a half court to try to get that ball out of her hands. See if uh, see who wins the final 90 seconds here. Dave Wilson gets to the elbow. Curls out on her. Rebounded by Clemson. I think they got Dwyer with a foul. Oh, and Katie Meyer livid. That, that was a yeah. late call. Yeah. I don't think they were going to call it at first, and it kind of came. And then you hate to have that type of a foul that 
results in free throws with a minute and 16 left. Katie Meyer sharing her opinion with the officials and they are unmoved. I've never seen a ref, uh, an official change their call unless they go back and review it, if it's a reviewable call. There's Harris, free throw is good. Harris two for four The charity stripers tonight. Make it three for five and 11 points. Next one coming, and that one tumbles in. Back to a 10-point lead, 53-43. Miami's made some runs. Clemson keeps repelling Miami. There's a three from the corner for Day Wilson. It's a shootout, Joe. It's been a shootout this third quarter. Wilson brings Miami within seven. Whitehorn comes up short. Deflected by Freeman. Oh, I think she got away with a few steps there. So 46 seconds to go. The situation is 46 seconds to play third quarter. Clemson 53, Miami 46. Canes have the ball. Tigers led by 17 at halftime. Day Wilson has 11 points, nine coming here in the third quarter. If you're Miami, this is exactly where you want to be, chipping at it bit by bit. You take what, you take what the defense gives you, and you knock down some tough shots. There's a long three by Patrick, no good. Runs down her own rebound, whips a pass inside. That one was almost too hot to handle. Yeah, it was a little fire well, on that. It sure did, yeah. That, that pass was a bit overcooked, but off of Clemson. <laughs> Dave Wilson will bring it in bounds. Gets it in deep to Ladmore. 14 in the shot clock, 30 to play in the quarter. Dave Wilson, eyeball to eyeball with Ott. Now Dwyer inside and tumbles away from Miami. 19 seconds to go for Clemson. Miami with full court pressure. Trying to slow Clemson down just a little bit. The lead is seven. It was 17 at halftime. Miami taking out Day Wilson and Patrick with they had a little foul trouble. Odd in the backcourt, 15 seconds to go. Clemson trying to hold on for the final shot. Harris, Robinson, Ott, back to Harris one more time. Five seconds to go, her eyes swiveling toward the rim. Let's it fly around and out, no good. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. And that sets up what could be a very exciting Fourth quarter coming up. We're coming down the home stretch. Should be a good one. Hold on for the adventure. Clemson 53, Miami 46. In the third quarter, Miami will have the ball. Clemson has the lead. It's 53 46. It feels like it's a fragile lead. Clemson's made eight threes tonight. Miami's made five out of their 20. Patrick got Miami started in the third. Let's this one fly. It's short. Rebounded by Wilson, over to Williams. In on Ott, down the lane. Feeds it off inside, got it to go. Beautiful pass. And Spearman with a nice finish. So Joe, we talked a little bit at halftime and you said that Miami, you think that Miami needed to be within five at the start of the fourth quarter to have a chance and that's where we are right now. 53-48, Tigers have the ball. Harris looking for Elmore. Gets it to Robinson on the baseline, dribbled it off her foot. That's a big turnover right there. Huge. And Robinson has been all of everything tonight for Clemson. I wonder if a little bit of nerves are settling in. Hurricanes can get within three right here. Or two. Williams has it for Miami. Four points. 
Drifts left to right. Williams for Lattimore, looking for Spearman. Lattimore will take the jumper, no good. Rebound it off of, uh, off of Spearman. Clemson inbounds, Elmore has it. Clemson 53, 48 leaders. As Robinson brings it across the timeline, can feel the trailing breath of danger. And an offensive foul on the Tigers. That's gonna be on Elmore. Two turnovers in less than two minutes, two crucial turnovers. As you said, this lead is fragile. Day Wilson, her eyes searching the, the floor like a searchlight, looking for any threats from the Clemson defense. Short pass for Lattimore, gets it right back, on the move. On the drive, Spearman comes up short. Miami's had two chances to get, get it to three or even two. Now Harris, across the timeline. Trying to avoid a tripwire from the Miami defense. Short hand off to Whitehorn. There's a tripwire, it's Jalea Williams. Dave Wilson swipes at it. Ott gets it back, 13 to shoot. Under eight to play in the game. Harris has it. Harris slithers into the lane and got it to go. Well, that's a tough shot. Oh, Harris a couple of summer down and she is slow to get up. There's Patrick for three, no good. Rebounded by Clemson. Robinson has it. And once again, they repel Miami. Harris a little shaken up. 55-48. Seven minutes to go. Robinson, 17 points in the game. Has a step in the lane, no good. Gets her own rebound and draws a foul. Um. That'll be her fourth. There's Harris with the scoop to the hoop and hit the deck hard. 14 for Harris. Day Wilson to the bench. And Harris to the bench. I know that that fall hurt her a little bit. Let's see if Miami takes advantage of her not being on the court. Robinson, eight for 15 from the floor, 17 points. First free throw is good. Her second free throw is coming. Robinson from Douglasville, Georgia. 145th game, second team all ACC a year ago. Coming off a 19 point game against Virginia and buries both free throws. So Robinson and Harris getting a rest with 7.20 to play in the game. It's a lot of time on the clock. Nine point lead, Lattimore. Miami had two chances to get it down to three or two. Williams, right side. There's a three pointer from the wing. Lattimore buries a three. And Lattimore can score at all three levels of the basketball game. Only her third three of the season. Three for six, and the lead is down to six. 57-51. Odd wants it at the top of the circle. Badgered by Williams. In Yang's jumper, around and out. Rebound to Miami. Patrick had it and was fouled. Patrick's a little shaken yeah, up. Yeah, might have almost, almost had her hyperextended her knee a little bit. It was kind of like a little bit on roller skates there. Battling for that traffic rebound. Well, Big possession here for Miami. This is the type of game where you lay it all out. We'll look at that rebound and see how Patrick sacrificed her body. Looked like her knee got hit a little bit. Here's Williams for Miami. Four assists in the game. Lattimore. Dwyer has it. Williams with a shot fake. Seven to shoot. Williams Zo oh, throws the ball away, got herself in midair, no man's land. Yeah, she was trying to dump it off, but her post was trying to get in position to rebound. Just a little miscommunication. 
A six-point game, exactly where you want to be with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Game can go either way. You're going to find out Miami can get over the mountain or if it's going to be Sisyphus. Go up the mountain and the boulder comes rolling down on them. Clemson's had an answer every step of the way. Here's Robinson. Trying to get it back to Harris. Dwyer there to badger her. Harris, her eyes sweeping the court, looking for any defensive threats from Miami. She'll go right. Dwyer goes with her. Robinson, Dwyer, five seconds to shoot. Pass goes inside, poked out of bounds by Miami with three seconds to shoot. Six-point lead, under six minutes to play. Shot clock down to one. I don't think that shot got off in time. Shot and if, clock it did, it didn't hit. if it did, it didn't hit it any didn't rim. Any. So Miami the ball, down six. Clemson defending for their lives. Miami trying to move up the scoreboard one goose bump at a time. Dwyer for Patrick on the right wing. Little jumper for Lattimore and draws a foul. And that also stops the clock with 5.29 to play. Just a little bit of contact, but what about Miami and the heart that it takes to even be in this position right now? Down 17 at the half, down six with five and a half to go at the free throw line and can cut it to a five-point game. Clemson has led wire to wire. They're five minutes and 29 seconds away from the finish line. Lattimore on the line for Miami. First one is good. Lattimore is 66% on the charity stripe this season. Hit a big three a couple of moments ago. Six points in the game now for Lattimore. And the second free throw is good. Good in a pair of free throws. 57-53 at the Wasco Center. It's getting very interesting. Harris gets loose on the drive and got it to go. They have to keep the ball out of Harris's hands. I'm going to do a quick deny. As soon as we score, a quick deny. Do not let her get that ball. A blur to the basket. Miami had it down to four. Back up to six. Harris has been tremendous tonight. Williams. Over to Dwyer, she's gonna take the three ball. Off the heel, Williams a long rebound for Miami. Under five minutes to play at the Wasco Center. Six point lead for the Tigers. They've led all the way, they've won three in a row. Williams for Miami, moves it right side. Patrick throws it inside. It's gonna be good, and a foul! Spearman gets one more shot. With the flat, she said, I want three the hard way. My teammates are shooting threes, but I'm going to go get three the hard way. What a fantastic post-to-post -post presence to cut it down to four points. The warp rift is expanding. All worlds within the Calaxian Veil will be consumed. This difficulty demands a specialist. An ease specialist. Yeah, yeah that, that's me. Geico makes it easy to get coverage for what you care about. Cars, apartments, jewelry. Jewelry? And what about the warp rift? <laughs> I've got you. There, there you go. Oh. Dust in the cartridge. Goony. <laughs> From cars to renters to jewelry, it's easy to Geico. Mr. Oh, Pote. And then? Then run faster. Oh. Red Bull gives you wings. Der. Oh. Red Bull gives you wings.
we got a Subaru Forest the Wilderness to discover all the places that make us feel something more. Subaru is the National Park Foundation's largest corporate donor, helping expand access for all. Well, here's the situation at the Watsco Center. It's Clemson 59, Miami 55 with 4.45 to go. Robinson leading the way for Clemson with 19 points. Spearman off the bench with 12 points. And she's done a great job. Miami's bench, Tamara, 28 points the Miami bench tonight. That's been a huge lift. Clemson 11 for 14 from the free throw line. Spearman is on the line with a chance for a three-point play. The leading scorer with 12 points in the game. Quality, quality, quality minutes coming off the bench. We know Miami scores, and, and they produce by committee, and they're doing a fantastic job of that in the second half. Miami's outscored Clemson in the second half, 33 to 20. Tigers have the ball with 440 to go, 59-55. Tigers trying to hold on. They've led all the way. They played a beautiful game. Harris has it. Down the lane goes Harris. Scoop the loop. No good. Battle of the rebound. Robinson and Dwyer. Jump ball. Alternating possession. Belongs to Clemson. Miami was looking to get out and run on that. Odd has played well. She'll inbound for Clemson. Odd. Gets it to Robinson. Robinson, tough shot, no good. Great job defending by Lattimore for Miami. Hurricanes are looking for that magic ingredient to come all the way back. Spearman, and she traveled. Hurricanes scoring defense is number two in the ACC at allowing their opponent, opponents 58 points. Clemson already has 59. But if Miami's to win, they're going to rely on that defense. He had a few more multiple stops. Whitehorn on the wing. Robinson. Clock about ready to go under four minutes. And a four-point lead for the Tigers. Shot clock at 13. Harris has the ball. The game has been on her shoulders most of the night. Whitehorn backs up behind the three-point line with two to shoot. Now with one, Ott lets it fly around and out. I think she got it off. And a fresh 20 for Clemson. That, that was hurts. close. That, that hurt. hurts. That hurts if you are Miami. Cannot afford to give up offensive rebounds. Three and a half to go. Robinson left of the key. Ball poked away by Patrick. Away with it is Williams for Miami. To the free throw line, a step around, and got it to go! And we've got a two-point game! Here we go, Joe! 3.08 to go, and it's a two-point lead for Clemson. They led by 17 at halftime. Robinson has it at the free throw line. Under three minutes to play, nine in the shot clock. Robinson barrels in and lost it out of bounds. Miami a chance to tie or take the lead. All credit to Lattimore. She stayed where she was supposed to defensively. She did not reach. She moved her feet. And you know when Miami is out and running, there is very little you can do with them in transition. Two-point game. Miami can tie or take the lead right here. Williams has it. Williams goes right, eyeball to eyeball with Harris. Eyeball screen, Williams, oh, intercepted by Harris. What a play. Harris in and around Williams and a foul. And Harris to the rescue again. Harris 16 points and steals the ball at a critical juncture of the game with 2.33 to play. Well, I'll tell you, Harris has done everything but sell popcorn tonight. <laughs> she has come to play. She has literally had her and Robinson, this Clemson team, on their back. Her fingerprints all over this game, 16 points, six rebounds, six assists, and the free throw is good. Eight and a half. 
17 in the game. The lead is back to three. 2.33 to play. Three timeouts for Miami. Clemson has four. Second free throw, tumbles in. The lead is back to four. Miami nearly threw the ball away. Boy, that was a heart in your mouth moment. She made me almost <laughs> jump out of my chair. I was like, where is the ball going? <laughs> Timeout, Katie Meyer. 2.23 to go. Much credit goes to Clemson every time Miami gets within striking distance. Clemson has an answer. Katie Meyer back to the idea factory. Down by four with 2.23 to go. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Paul. You don't want to ride with Paul. Or Sarah. Not today, anyway. And you don't want a rate based on Ben. He's got some important business to take care of. Why would you pay a rate based on anyone else? With Allstate, you're connected to a rate based on you. Poacher. Yeah? Tired already? Here, have a Red Bull. And then? Then run faster. Oh. Red Bull gives you wings. There are trucks, then there's the truck, GMC Sierra. Available with the V8 engine. The Super Cruise hands-free driving experience. And of course, the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. Not just any truck, the truck. Right now, you can get free delivery from Papa John's with minimum purchase. That's right, get free delivery on all your Papa John's favorites when you order on the Papa John's app or online. Better ingredients, better pizza, better order now, Papa John's. 2.23 to go, hearts are banging like a drummer. 61.57, Clemson the lead. Complex situations call for creative solutions. What does Katie Meyer draw up here? Two-man game. 2.23 to go. Williams has it and moves left to Lattimore. Inside for Spearman. Comes up short. Plucks off her own rebound. Right back up. No good. And last touch by Clemson. A lot of contact there. No foul. Miami has the ball with 2.09 to go. Down four. Clemson has led all the way. Tigers have been well prepared. They've won three in a row. Looking to make it four straight. Inbounds goes deep to Williams. Clock is ticking down toward the two-minute mark. 2.03, 2.02, now at two minutes to play. Down on the shot clock. Williams to the free throw line. Tries to snake her way through and turns the ball over. A couple of big turnovers here by Miami down the stretch. Harris has it to Whitehorn. Whitehorn to the free throw line. Looking for an escape dribble, nearly throws it away. Harris has it. 1.45 to go. Clemson and a four point lead. The Tigers have had an answer every time against Miami tonight. Harris with, uh, with some savory numbers. Drives in, that one tumbles off, no good. Rebound to Spearman. There goes Dave Wilson. Dave Wilson for three. No good, but it was fouled. Find the three point line. Almost a four. Point play. Whitehorn can't believe it. Fowler with 123 to go. He 
she got the tip of her hand on that release. She can make it a one-point game, Tamara James, with 1.23 to go. This is the moment you live for when you're playing collegiate NCAA, ACC type basketball, you live for these big moments. What can I do for my team? Eight straight games and double figures for Day Wilson. First free throw is up there and good. Next one coming. What a finish we might be in store for right here at the Wasco Center in Coral Gables. 61 58, 123 to play. Wilson good on the second one. Now trying to go three for three. This is the closest this game has been since the first quarter. The lead is down to two. Dave Wilson can make it a one-point game. And a harrowing finish. Or a potential cardiac event. On the way and good. One-point game. 61-60. 123 to go. And Miami's on their feet. All the fans are standing up. You hear the, the electric noise in the arena. Fans are standing. Stomachs are doing flip-flops. Ball nearly poked away. Timeout Clemson with 1.16 to go. One minute and 16 seconds to play. Tigers led by 18. 17 at the half. And it's now down to one with 116 to play. There you see the situation. Possession arrow is in favor of Miami. Two fouls to give for the Canes, none for Clemson. A one point game, 61-60. You gotta think that the ball is gonna be in the hands of Harris. And I know that Miami knows that, so they're gonna try to keep the ball out of Harris's hands. But Miami has Clemson on the ropes right now. Clemson is going to have to respond. If, if they allow Miami to get a lead, I'm not sure that they can recover from that. You know, sometimes you can feel the pulse in your fingertips. <laughs> this might be one of those times. If you're a Clemson fan or a Miami fan, 61, 61, 16 to go in the game. Ott right, bounces it into Harris. Harris has been splendid tonight, 18 points. Six assists. Harris with Spearman out on her. Into the corner for a triple try. No good. Rebounded by Williams and fouled by Harris. And that is two shots. Every foul, Miami is going to the line. Whitehorn had a good look at it. Missed the corner three. Williams got the rebound in traffic and now goes to the free throw line and a chance to give Miami the lead for the first time tonight. Clemson had an opportunity to kind of take the wind out of Miami's lungs, but I know Whitehorn is going to, she's really down on herself right now, but that is the shot. That is a part of basketball. Williams, the free throw on the way, no good. She gets one more, 64% this year in her 90th game, trailing by one with 61 seconds to go. Takes a deep breath. Back on the free throw line. Eyes are focused on the rim. On the way. Got it, and we're tied at 61. Miami's moved up the scoreboard one goose bump at a time. We're level at 61 with one minute to go at the Wasco Center in Coral Gables. Everybody moves to the edge of their seat. Harris comes left, guarded by Dwyer. Dwyer poking and jabbing. To Elmore, 10 to shoot. Ball poked away, oh, a foul's gonna be called. I thought the ball was poked away. Dwyer is gonna be guilty of the foul. What do you say on that one, Tamara James? I mean, it could have went either way. I like the aggression and I like that foul, especially that they're not going to the free throw line. So if you're Miami, okay. That one more, 61-61, 40 seconds to play. Hurricanes trying to rewrite the headlines on this one. Odd inbounds to Harris. 37 seconds left in the game. 15 on the shot clock. Harris has the ball. We're tied at 61. Harris goes wide right. Now Ott. She's made three threes. Harris one more time. Four to shoot. 
Three to shoot and a foul on the sideline. All right, well, that's it. No more fouls to give. But now you've got 22 seconds in the game and a 20-second shot clock. So if you're Clemson, your thought is? Taking the last shot. Taking the last shot, yep. You've led all the way. I'm taking the last shot, and if I'm Miami, I'm not letting Harris get the ball in. I'm making someone else have to handle the ball with that pressure, with my defense. Clemson, See what type of decision they can make. Clemson has missed eight of their last nine and five in a row. We have 22 seconds to play in the game. For Miami, Williams, Spearman, Day Wilson, Lattimore, and Patrick. Harris, Elmore, Robinson, Whitehorn, and Ott for the Tigers. Harris with 18, Robinson with 19. And here we go. Harris has the ball. She holds. Shot clock, game clock, about a two-second difference. Harris out front, tied to 61. Clemson looking to win it on the road. They've led wire to wire. And another timeout with 11 seconds to go. Way to keep the suspense on us, yeah. Joe. I'm over here. I can't breathe. I'm holding my breath. I'm not knowing what's going to happen. What a fantastic and phenomenal game on both sides. Clemson for give them all the credit for coming out and just exploding on the University of Miami. And Miami for crawling their way back into this game brick by brick. And now we are at an 11.4 standstill. Hurricanes have punched back from the brink. And now, with 11 seconds to go, an acid test of nerves. Mine are theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say everybody's nerves are on high alert. We're tied at 61. Clemson's missed their last five. Odd will inbound. Patrick Williams, Dave Wilson, Spearman, Lattimore for Miami. Odd, Whitehorn, Robinson, Elmore, and Harris for the Tigers. Inbound goes. Elmore has it. Oh, Harris almost went over and back. Intercepted by Miami. Ball's loose. Williams has it. Cross the timeline. Timeout, Katie Meyer. 3.7 seconds to go. Murphy just stepped into the game for Clemson. Murphy's Lowell just entered the fray for Clemson. Full timeout. 3.7 seconds to go. What happened here, Tamara? Oh, tightrope. A mental breakdown is what happened. That is the only words that can escape. A mental breakdown. Hurricanes are going to try to walk it off. 3.7 seconds to go. Wow. You know, Joe, I said that we were going to go into halftime. You said it was going to be a buzzer beater. It's either going to be a buzzer <laughs> beater or halftime at this point. Actually, Miami's only lead today. I'm not halftime. Today, I mean overtime. Miami's only lead has been four to two. So basically, Clemson's led all the way. Now Miami has 3.7 seconds to rectify the situation. They were down by 18, and Miami can rewrite all the headlines. Who's going to be the headline maker if they win it? You can't choose one. This has been an, a fantastic effort from everyone who has stepped foot on that court. You can't choose one. You know what? I will put my team picture up there because it took the, it's taking the entire committee to dig back into this game and give them this moment right here. 3.7 seconds to go for Miami. Dave Wilson, Spearman, Lattimore, Williams, and Patrick on the floor. Tied at 61. 3.7 seconds to go. The inbound from Day Wilson. Could she get it back? She does. Day Wilson has it for the win. It's no good. And we go to overtime. Clem Clemson thought Day Wilson took a couple of steps. We're going to overtime. Free basketball in Coral Gables. That's the shot you want if you're Miami. Yep. And that's the person you want taking that shot because she has every capability of knocking that down. Tied at 61. The adventure. Miami has. Day Wilson with four fouls, Williams and Patrick with three fouls, and so Day Wilson's gonna have to show that she can play these five minutes with these four fouls. Spearman into the center, jump circle against McLemore in the first possession of overtime goes to Miami. 
First overtime for both teams. Tied at 61. Williams to her left. Watched by Ott for Lattimore. And then Day Wilson, who takes a triple try. Good! And that's the way we started overtime. Miami has their first lead, since it was four to two. And she's just come, it's like a layup almost, or a free throw, if you will. Day, Miami with the first punch. 17 points for Day Wilson. 15 since halftime. Ott on the move. Robinson steps back. That triple tries an air ball. Run down by Day Wilson. 17 points, four rebounds for Day Wilson. Here's Williams and a three-point Miami lead. We've had a suspense of the highest order tonight. Miami has Hill. Wilson down low, beautiful pass. Five straight to Miami. Great finish by Spearman. Timeout, Clemson. Woo! 14 for Spearman. How about the game Spearman is putting together? <laughs> Miami has Clemson on their heels right now. Everything's going Miami's way. They have really willed their way back into this moment and have taken complete control over this game. Day Wilson doing a bit of everything. Beautiful pass. Spectacular pass. Spearman with 14. Equals her season high, which was against, was, uh, which was 14 against Alabama State. 14 points and six rebounds for Spearman. She's really come alive tonight, doing everything that we knew that she could do from the beginning of the season, just really showing herself and showing that effort to be a part of this great run. Last time she was in double figures was Miami's upset against North Carolina State. She had 10. When Miami's bench plays well, it's very difficult to stop them because they are able to use that depth down the bench. And even if you're in foul trouble, and we know we had an injury earlier, they just keep going. They don't miss a beat. And we're seeing that right now. 30 bench points for Miami. And I know that Clemson is dealing with a few issues, a few players that are out. And, you know, you kind of wonder, is that doing a little wear and tear? When you look at the minutes that's being played, the starters all have played 30-plus minutes. And Miami's able to spread that. You have three bench players for Miami that's played at least 20 minutes. So fatigue is starting to set, settle in, especially in overtime. 351 to play in the game. And Miami's come all the way back from a 17, 18 point deficit. Now it's 66 61 Miami. And Clemson's laid it all out, the, out on the line tonight. And you mentioned they're a little short handed. But what, have been, what an incredible effort by Clemson to come out and just take complete control over this game and shine the way Harris and Robinson has and really put Miami on their heels to be able to come back and play this type of game Miami has played. Well, we'll see what kind of magic Clemson can conjure up now between Robinson and Harris. Robinson with 19, Harris with 18. Here comes Harris. Tailgated by Williams. Here comes the double by Patrick. That was pretty clever. That's how Miami came out in the third quarter. That trap right over half court. Yeah, that was a nice ambush, but now Williams fouled her. And two shots. Mm -hmm. The Harris stat line tonight, 18 points. Six out of eight from the free throw line. Six assists, six rebounds. Day Harris with two shots. First one curls out. She's a little tight right now. See her frustration in her face. 
She's played a fantastic, tremendous game. Here comes the next one. Makes one out of two. 66-62, 3.35 to go in the game. We're in overtime. Day Wilson with 17 points in the game. 15 since halftime. Now she gets ambushed, gets it away to Williams. Williams in the lane, out of the lane. 10 seconds to shoot. Patrick has it. Patrick in the lane. Ball poked away. Williams with four. Williams with three. Let's it fly. Good! Oh, that's a big shot for Williams. Big time players make big time shots. I love that for her. 68 62. Whitehorn at the elbow. That tumbles in. Nine in the game for Whitehorn. Clemson within four. It's going to take precise execution. Down the stretch by both teams. Perhaps whoever executes better gets to the uh, finish line first. 2.34 to go. Williams in the corner. Now the baseline. Into the corner. Wide open. Three ball. Good for Patrick. The pass was a thing of beauty. The momentum is all Miami right now. Whitehorn comes up short. Day Wilson, the rebound, I think threw it away. Nine points for Patrick on three threes tonight. Beautiful find from Williams. In the air. Clemson needs a bucket, and they need a bucket now. 71-64, largest lead of the game for Miami. Valentine moves it to Watt. Oss made three threes tonight. Valentine inside. Robinson up with the left hand. Got it in a foul. Great way to respond for Robinson. 21 for Robinson. Down five, two minutes is a lot of time. Robinson shoots 83%. On the free throw, free throw line, been there 113 times this season. You don't really see big shooting that well from the yep. free throw line. 145 collegiate games for Robinson. Three point play. Tigers clawing their way back in. The Tigers have three post players in right now. Four point lead for Miami, under two minutes to go. We're in overtime. Williams has made some big plays here for Miami down the stretch. Big jumper, big assist. Day Wilson goes left. Lattimore to Day Wilson. Shot clock is seven. Patrick for three, air ball. Hurricanes have to hurry. I'll throw it back into the backcourt. Spearman had a chance maybe to go right back up with it. I don't think she was aware of the shot clock. Shot clock right now. 92 seconds to play. Roberts back in. Give Katie Meyer a lot of credit tonight. She's had to go back to that idea factory a lot. Deep into the idea factory. To have a team to be able yep. to do that. Four-point lead. Clemson has 90 seconds. Trailing 71-67. Robinson on the move and got it to go, and it's down to two. 71-69. And we're back to a nail-biter, Joe. Here we go again. 67 seconds to play. Patrick's made a couple of big threes for Miami. One minute to go at the Wasco Center. Tigers need a stop. A three would put them ahead if they get the stop. 
Williams has it for Miami. Stop and go move to the elbow. Jumper is good. Overtime belongs to Jaleel Boy, Williams. Jaleel Williams, the headline maker in overtime. 73-69, four-point Miami lead. Harris goes right. Harris lets it fly. Good! It's a three-pointer. How about Harris? The a one-point game. The amount of talent that we see right now on this court in the Watsco Center in Miami is insane. 73-72. 26 seconds to go in the game. Everybody on the edge of their seat. Roberts has it on the right wing. Roberts for Williams. Shot clock, game clock about. A four-second differential. Roberts in the corner. Patrick for three. No good. Offensive rebound to Miami. Spearman has it. Back out to Roberts. She was fouled. Spearman was fouled. I don't understand why Miami would even shoot the ball. I, I, six seconds to go. I'm going to hold the ball. We're up one. You're up one if you're Miami. Six seconds to go. I believe there was a foul. If there I was thought a it was foul. a foul, but let's see. I don't know if it was a foul or if it was a timeout. All Double right. timeout, so Miami has the ball. Six seconds to go. And that is a smart timeout by Katie Meyer. I, I think that she thought that her team might take an attempt and say, wait, 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 wait. Let's understand this special situation. Overtime game. We're up one with six seconds to go. We have to make them foul us. We cannot just take a shot. Six seconds left to play. Miami a one-point lead, 73-72. That's the situation. One timeout for Miami, one timeout for Clemson. Miami has to inbound the ball from the sideline. Patrick, got to get the ball inbounds first. Patrick looking, looking, still looking. Lobs it in. And Ladmore is fouled with five seconds to go. So Lattimore to the line with a one-point lead. She'll get two shots. Tigers have a timeout, two timeouts remaining. So they'll be able to advance the ball. Lattimore on the line. Seven points tonight. Her seven points feels like 30 points. Big free throw right here. On the way and good. Or oh, that was clutch. That is the type of impact that Lattimore has had on this game. From rebounding to blocking shots to sacrificing her body to finishing around the rim. She has had a big game for the Hurricanes off the bench. And now another big free throw coming up. Puts it up there. Got them both. And a timeout, Clemson. Lattimore at two. Clutch free throws for Miami. Four for four on the free throw line for Lattimore. We're down to five seconds to go in the game. All right, Joe, call it. Well, they need the three, so it's going to go to Harris or Robinson. Whitehorn took a three earlier from the corner. Uh, Ott. Right? And Ott has made three threes. I think everyone on that floor can shoot the three. They've made nine, nine for 26. 3rd quarter, they were 2 for 5. 4th quarter, 0 oh for 2. So they missed their last three threes. That's not a, that's not a good trend. And but would, anybody would, can would come you, alive in the moment. Would you, you're, you have five seconds. If you're Miami, would you foul? No. I don't like that game. <laughs> no, I don't like that game either. <laughs> I don't like that game. I feel you know like what? if I was the one that told my team go foul, It'd be a four-point play. You know what? Overseas, that's how all the coaches think. And the first time coach told me to do that, I was like, foul? Why <laughs> Why would I foul? I'm up, right? But, you know, it works. Well, it works. Here we go. Five seconds to go. Three-point lead for Miami. Clemson can tie it with a three. Ott will inbounds. Looking. The clock started the before clock the ball started before was the ball. in. 
All right, Clemson gets a timeout. So it's 75-72, 5.1 second remaining. Well, well, they were going right to Harris, right? So, but I think that the clock started when it. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how you could get the ball in and, and get a touch and still have 5.1 seconds. That's a lot of time. Five seconds. Valentine's in the game. Valentine's made a couple of threes tonight. No timeouts remaining for Clemson. This is all or nothing. This is it. The whole shebang right here. Inbounds goes to Elmore. Shot goes up, no good. Rebounded by Miami and the Hurricanes. Come all the way back and win it in overtime. Wow. 75 wow. to 72. Wow. What a come from behind victory for Miami. And the fans at the Wasco Center are relieved and giddy with the lights. What an incredible game on both sides. If you were not here in this gym, you could not understand the energy that was here and the way both teams left it all on the floor. Largest comeback of the season for Miami. Ties the largest comeback, I believe, in program history for the University of Miami. How do they do it? Bit by bit, not looking towards the end of the game, but looking at each possession, making some key adjustments. All, all credit goes to Katie Meyer and her staff. Making those adjustments to Harris, I think that they really rattled them coming out of halftime, and they had a tremendous third quarter, 24 points in the third quarter, and that gave them the boost. Dave Wilson, 17 points, 15 after halftime. She, she's just a player in the moment, you know. Um, Miami has won this game by committee. However, you can't deny the talent that Dave Wilson has. A huge home victory for the University of Miami. 75-72, Hurricanes win.